Mike McCarron becomes a restricted free agent this summer. He had a pretty disappointing season this year and hasn't really developed into the player that the organization had hoped. What do you think the Canadians should do with him? Well, I think they're going to give him a qualifying offer and uh, keep him in the organization. He's still uh, still a young guy. Uh, I, I don't know if he's ever going to be anything more than an AHL player, though. Um, he, his foot speed is still a problem. Uh, he He's big, he's physical, but he doesn't use those to his best advantage. He's been in three or four fights since he came back up the second mm -hmm. time around. That doesn't cut it. You know, that would win him a job a few years ago. Yeah, that's, hockey's but, changed. Yeah. But hockey's changed. It doesn't win your jobs now. Um, and he just hasn't done enough to deserve to stay up, and he's got to go back and do some more work. And also a first-round pick fighting to try and keep yeah. a job in today's NHL isn't a good sign. I mean, with McCarron, when they drafted him, they knew what they were getting. He was a project. He was ranked 35th, I believe, in North American players by Central Scouting, so he wasn't even rated as a first-round pick. The Canadians were desperate for size. He was a big guy. They figured maybe he could be that big center they've been looking for, but they knew he was a project and they'd work with him. But whether it's on him or on the development team or both or a bad draft pick, I think it was just a bad draft pick. I think they thought they could develop this guy into something that, they, I think they're realizing they can't. His skating's just not there, and the NHL game just keeps getting faster and faster, and he can't keep up. And uh, I, I have a feeling I think they're going to make him a qualifying offer, but I think after that he'll be traded for uh, a, you know, a fifth-round uh, pick or, uh, <laughs> or something. I just I don't see him. I don't see him playing. I think as Pat said, he's going to be an AHL player. Yeah, you know, there's no harm in giving him a qualifying offer, but it's not like there's other teams really out there looking for Michael McCarron. It's not like he's going to you know, try and play hardball or anything like that. Like, uh, it's just, I, I feel like the Cana this is on the Canadians because, as you said, that they knew this was a work in progress, Michael McCarron, and they decided to roll the dice and, and uh, try it out with him, and he hasn't been able to do that. So it's, you know, it's again, it's a drafting issue that you wasted a first-round uh, first draft pick on a player that in a few years, you know, in a very few years, will be out of the picture, and who knows where if he'll even be playing, uh, you know, in North America. Well, he and well, Jared Tenori can get together and have a beer one day and <laughs> at, compare at, stories. At the time of the draft, though, it might have been a good pick. I mean, the, the league has developed, has morphed so quickly into a, into a speed league, mm -hmm. and he just got caught in the... Uh, and, you know, 10 years ago, he probably would have been a serviceable player. He would have been uh, Milan Lucic like, like. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's just no future. I mean, you talk about North America, he can't go to Europe because he, he's yeah, not big, fast. On the big ice, yeah, too. You know, and, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think he's here to stay in the HL. Yeah, well, listen, Jess, with prices, uh, uh, with Trump's. Uh, Threatening trade tariffs going up. The price of rubber has gone up, so a bucket of pucks may not be the worst deal for a trade. Uh, go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode.